what's up guys, it's Maxwell and this is the next episode of my Town Hall 8 trophy push inside of Clash of Clans. So starting off we are at 2602 trophies. Um, just where we left off the last episode I actually recorded this pack to back and uh, did a quite intense session pushing right here. So this is where we're gonna start and we're gonna see how far we can advance through the Masters League today. So let's hop into it. So taking a look at this base, this is actually the first Town Hall 9 that I'm attacking in inside of my Town Hall 8 trophy push. Um, so I showed you lots of Town Hall 8 attacks um, in the last video, so I thought I'd switch it up a little bit for this one to make it a little bit more entertaining. Um, and we are gonna go for this Town Hall 9. Um, it's gonna be pretty tough for me to 3 star it just because of the additional buildings and defenses, but um, this was a pretty big trophy offer as you will see soon. Um, so I just went for a 2 star attempt right here. It's not that easy with Govaho, uh, but uh, if you um, can find the right base and the right uh, touch it's certainly possible. So 2 stars are my goal right here. Um, I'm moving in with the kill squad and I'm this time sending the Hawk Riders early and because I'm trying to protect the kill squad. Since I'm not going to 3 star this base or at least uh, very likely not going to, um, uh, the Hawk Riders are obviously not going to kill the Town Hall for me since defenses are going to be left standing. So my goal is to clear a pathway towards the Town Hall with my Hawks. Uh, also clear out those bombs as you see right there. Clear all the de uh, dangerous defenses around the Town Hall and then just snipe the Town Hall down with my other troops so I get the 2 star. Um, percentage wise we're already at 43 so we're looking good for that. Also some cleanup left to pick up those precious last percentage points. And it looks like my wizards are actually closing in on the Town Hall right here. No defenses in range that could shoot me, so looking strong. Also, we still have a couple of Valkyries up, uh, which is also nice. They're gonna do a little bit more work on the percentage and just pick up some loot from here. And there the two star is in the books. Town Hall goes down to the Wizards. Uh, actually, quite a few in the center right here. And the Golem is also still left at full size, so successful. I accomplished what I wanted right here. And now it's just gonna be picking up a few more buildings. Um, the wizards are doing work, but getting worked also by the cannons right here on the left. There's an archer picking up a barracks for another percentage point. Um, gonna get shut down by the cannon and just the golem left now uh, at the poison spell. Uh, not a BM right there, I just need to drop it because I was boosting and the next poison spell was al already queued up. So I would have had two in my camps which uh, would have made no sense. So I decided to drop that. And next up looks like we found a dead Town Hall 10. This is also gonna be a two star attempt. Also not three starable for me because of high hero levels that he has and um, also uh, of, of course the high level defenses. So gonna see a similar strategy right here. The Hawk Riders are gonna clear all defenses on the right side and uh, I'm trying to work my Wizards and Valkyries towards the core to get the Town Hall. Also I obviously attack this one for the huge loot. Um, it's always nice to fill up a little bit of Dark Elixir and get some good gold so that's what I also had in mind by attacking this one. It also was a pretty nice trophy offer so um, definitely doable um, to go for this base. Notice I saved my last heal spell for the wizards this time since they are getting wrecked by the wizard tower. Luckily it doesn't one shot them, it would two shot them so I'm using the heal spell so I get the town hall down. And now I'm just sprinkling my remaining troops around the base to pick up the rest of the percentage and a few more um, collectors also to gain a little bit of loot. 4000 dark elixir right here so um, a very very nice steal on this one. Um, I'm happy with that. And now my troops are just gonna have a little bit of fun with those uh, last collectors around the base that are free. Some archers, some wizards left taking care of those. Actually I'm gonna snipe off a gold mine at the bottom left here since the cannon is still focused towards the center on the golem. That's gonna work also pretty good uh, before the king, uh, before the golem dies and the queen snipes down my troops and also um, the cannon is, had turned around. and took care of some there and yeah an archer working on an elixir um, a collector right here to finish the raid off. I'm not sure why I waited that long because I was kept out on elixir anyways but yeah about 400,000 uh, gold on this raid um, and, uh, with the leak bonus of course and about uh, 4,400 dark elixir so 
very very nice one and let's see if we can cap off this video with the last three star attacking in tunnel 8 once again it looks like we have found another maxed one everything maxed except a few purple wards that he has left around the bottom here um, this time no clan castle lure we're gonna move straight in right here um, uh, and use golems valkyries and wizards to break into the base the enemy king is gonna get lured and he is gonna die immediately once the valkyries and wizards touch him and then the hawks are coming in towards the left side once again a very compact base no double giant bomb spot so nothing much to worry just heal um, near to the splash damaging defenses and those single giant bomb spots like right here and you are gonna be fine because your three heal spells are easily gonna breach the whole base so um, no worries uh, no concerns right here tight bases are always hawk rider bases and yeah that's the best choice um, also for you attackers in clan war so just a few defenses left here a couple of teslas a mortar a, a cannon and an archer tower last air defense just went down right there once again skeletons um, are chasing my hawks so i dropped the poison spell on them if you do this you always want to pick a spot where defenses are uh, bunched a little bit or where your hawks are gonna um, so your hawks are gonna stay around that for a little, little bit longer um, so the poison spell can actually do work on the skeletons because it doesn't really help if the skeletons just uh, run through it once chasing the hawks you want to keep them in there for like two to three seconds if possible because then the skeletons will be dead um, so um, look at your hawk pathing look where they are gonna go predict it a little bit because the skeletons are obviously gonna follow them and then drop the poison spell um, at the spot where your hawks will keep the skeletons for some time so wrapping this one up 100% on this base 18 trophies and let's take a look where we are at at the end of this episode looks like we gained another 120 trophies made it all the way up to 2722 another personal best for me you notice my base is also coming around a little bit I'm spending all my gold on the walls and upgrading a few defenses now um, uh, this is uh, this account is gonna be maxed uh, uh, out for tunnel 8 that's my end goal and I'm gonna do this slowly while I'm progressing through the leagues all right so new personal best um, just 27 22 pretty nice I hope you enjoyed this video leave me a like if you did and until next time I will see you guys later peace out